The British Labour Party has won its second consecutive national election. A stark contrast to Australia's Labour Party, which is hoping to overcome two consecutive election losses with a win later this year. To discuss the lessons from the British election, we're joined by re-elected British Labour MP Nigel Appleton. Mr Appleton, what lessons are in this for the Australian Labour Party? Well, for a start, we didn't promise to roll anything back. Nothing at all? No, we had actual policies. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Health, education, welfare, defence. And you just told people about them? Well, there's no point keeping them a secret, is there? I mean, we were running for government, not MI5. <laughs> Was the victory directly due to Tony Blair's leadership? Well, obviously, Tony Blair is a strong leader, but he was also up against a nondescript, balding, conservative prat with no charisma. Right. William Hague also had nobody behind him, really. I mean, I imagine Mr Beasley has to face a formidable government team. Oh, yes. Alexander Downer, Joe Hockey, Bronwyn Bishop, Michael Woolbridge. I see. And Mr Beasley is still in opposition? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Has he murdered someone or strangled a puppy or something? <laughs> Polls are suggesting he shouldn't lose this time. Oh, terrific. What's he doing? Nothing. Why? Any tips? Well, has he tried figuring out what the Conservatives are doing and then promising to do the same thing but pretending to care more? You mean like keep a GST but maybe roll it back? No, 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 nothing that pathetic. I mean, just take any Conservative policy and match it. Like promising not to raise taxes under any circumstances? Exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't that just ultimately mean a choice between a conservative government and a slightly less conservative government? No, we prefer to see it as the choice between a very, very conservative government <laughs> and a very conservative government. <laughs> and why not get him to try calling himself New Labour? Why? Well, it makes you sound like an FM radio station. <laughs> Thanks to public education, most young people are so stupid they might think they're voting for the top 40. Mr. Appleton, I'll pass it on to Mr. Beasley.